What's up, weaves, weebets, and all those in between? Welcome to another installment of the Anime Club Podcast. And today you have, oh, who's that shirtless boy? <laughs> Get this shirtless man out of here, man. <laughs> For for two dollars a day or fifty cents a day, you can get some bones, some meat on that guy's bones. Wait, <laughs> this man got the bones. Hey, we can put some meat on your bones. I am. I'm one of your hosts. Go by the name King Animals. It's your boy Christian, aka Viva Lo Paco. Oh, I it. Hey, it's your girl, Teresa, a.k.a. Teresa Kip. Yeah. <laughs> With the chicken wings <laughs> in the background. <laughs> what? What? I guess today we're going to um, get right into it. It might be a quick day today. Mm-hmm. Going on the same, uh, what would you call that, uh, layout of the last time when we each bring something to the table. So, I hate it, but oh. yeah. <laughs> Before we get started, have any of you guys um, watched any of the new season anime yet? No. I no. I've seen I, one. Uh, what? The husband anime on Netflix. Yeah. <sighs> I heard it was. It's it's, it's, it's different because it's late. It's not late. It layout isn't like an anime. It's more layout like a. What's like the a, they call uh, it? Like motion a, capture or motion? Yeah, it's like it's like really quick scenes and like kind of all over the place. But it's oh, not that's bad. whack! How do you? It's, are, it's it's. I think you can still find some enjoyment, and it. it wasn't like horrible. It was. It's not bad. No, it, was like, it, it, it was bad really to me. Like I, I tried watching it, and I couldn't get through the first episode. Yeah, like I was I watching like, it, and then. It ended up becoming background stuff because it was. Just, I, it was yeah, I just like I wanted to like it because it was because it was funny. Like the the stuff they were saying, it was fun. It is funny. Like I, I I just wish it would give it it. I would have preferred a lower quality animation, but full animation instead of this high quality, that, yeah. yeah, stop and go animation. That was just like, yeah. <sighs> it, yeah, I just exactly. couldn't do it. You know? I agree. So I have a few on queue right now that I plan on watching a little later just as I had the time. And well, recently watched Dota that on Netflix as well. It's not mm-hmm. anime, but it's that cartoon series. It's kind of like it seems like it has like the same style as like the uh Castlevania stuff. It's pretty dope. Check it out if you get a chance. Oh, also, I didn't watch it's not anime specifically, but still cartoon. I watched Invincible. That shit's oh. ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I watched that too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, are, you, are all the way caught up to I think I am. Um, the only thing I haven't watched is the newest episode. That's it. Mm-hmm. But that I caught up, yeah. That is... new episode is... What you did, Tracy. That new episode was episode great. episode is probably the crazy. best one so far. Really? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's Bro, really my flow. Me and my brother started it. He was like, yeah, I heard the first episode was ridiculous. So I was like, all right, how ridiculous can it get? And then, you know, you watch it. You're like, okay, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to the end. You're just like exactly. Oh, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> it just hits the fan, and you're like, "Oh, it's it's like that." Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that shit stressed me out the entire rest of that episode. I was just like, yeah, "I don't know if it, I can have more." It's good. I I I'm like, I'm all in on Invincible. I wish oh, I would have yeah. waited though, so I can just binge it. Yeah. Oh yeah. What 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 really put me over the edge, other than almost everybody saying it was good. Was I saw the cast and I was like, "Yo, yeah, this is um, this cast is fucking that loaded, cast is loaded." Really? I just know yes. Steven Yeun is in it. No, that, look no, at the rest of the cast. Don't look at the cast list because afterwards I was like, "Who is this?" And you I actually at the cast, don't. I was even... like, "What the?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did. Everybody in here. Because the you know how is... I'm on Amazon, <laughs> if you scroll down, it'll show you the cast. So I scrolled yeah. down and I was like, "Wait, they're in here? What the?" They got the all these guys together for this. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I gotta watch it now because that that cast is loaded. I was not, I was pleasantly surprised to say the least when I saw all those uh, roles and who was voicing them. Because you can the thing is you can you can like oh I know that voice from somewhere, and then once you're like that's uh, true I did that a lot. It's it's that guy. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because what caused me to look at it was that uh, the old dude, 
Yeah. I was like, his voice sounds so damn familiar. So I started looking at the cast. And I was like, what? You talking oh, about the God. super dad? No, the the old dude. That's kind of the, like he's kind of like the like the, the, the Nick Fury uh, of the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the one with the scar like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is what's his name, Cecil. Yeah. Oh, so... but... oh, he plays fucking Rex Flood. I hate that guy. <laughs> Rex Flood oh, is such a man, tool. Fuck Rex Flood. He is a tool. <laughs> He's <laughs> such he a tool. No, I'm like, uh... I'm glad I they did that thing with the twins, though. I was just like, yeah. I know people are thinking about it. You might as well. Oh yeah, I was like, you can have one. You can just do it, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, I mean, <laughs> that's really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> she walked in. You did it. Like, boy did it. <laughs> but. But anyway, yeah. Okay. Ready to get started? Whenever you are Christian, you are at the top of the charts today. All right. <laughs> so. Um, I was thinking about it because a lot of Danny tells us we can bring something else today, and I was like, okay, uh, I I haven't been watching much shows other than Invincible. I think that's the only one I bench watched because it was so good. Um, and it, like I said, the disappointment that was the uh, Husbando anime on Netflix. But other than that, uh, I have been playing Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter Rise. For those that don't know, it's the newest one. It's on the Switch. Um, long-term player, uh, just because it's a fun game. But anyways, that brought me back to the game. Uh, also, the one of our friends is, you know, brought up this topic that he was interested in making a game as a service, uh, you know, that he wants to make. And that, that brings me back to loot boxes and stuff like that that I was thinking about. So my question is... What do you guys prefer? A quality game, but with like loot box and transactions, or a shitty game, but that's free to play? There's, you know, you don't have to pay to level up. You don't have to pay to get the armor. The DLC is usually free, but the game is just not good. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's a plenty of examples that, you know, like I'm not a Fortnite player. I tried it, not my thing, but it's obviously a lot of people's things me personally uh just to start it off i would prefer to pay um with that my biggest example is destiny i paid a lot playing destiny because of their the expansions they play you know they, every expansion came out you had to pay for it uh even fucking weapons you had to pay for if you wanted exclusive weapons but gaming as a whole i think uh if you get, if you can pay for it to get that quality, I think it's worth it. Just not too much. Don't go crazy like EA. Hmm. But I don't know. I want to hear what what you guys think about you know pay to play games and what's that really done to right. you know gaming over the years. I just want to say for what you said. All right, the other option, the free but shitty. Like how shitty are we talking? Because I don't think anybody wants a shitty game. <laughs> if you're giving me a game of free and it's shitty I'm like I'm not playing this still so it depends on how shitty of the game yeah what's your like, definition of shitty like because like you're talking about free to play like God of War is a free you buy it you ain't got to buy it, no installments and all that stuff that's pretty uh... great to me yeah so I'm like what level of game we're talking about because I'll take a God of War over uh, a Destiny. Though Destiny, I, we enjoyed it. It's fun with the friends. It's just, like, I didn't mind paying for Destiny, like you said. It's just the, the time between the content was, like, so long that we was like, we burned out now. Um, I think it's games that, oh, oh, okay, maybe not shitty games, but just games that don't have that big of a, a market as, uh, as, as paid games. So, like, you know, I've heard of, like, War of Thunder or, or War of Warships, like, stuff like that, where, um, I, I mean, there, there's, I mean, there's some, like, you know, you can pay for stuff, but those are, you know, you, you can download for free and start playing without having to buy the actual game. Um, like the minor games, like a Meat yeah. Boy and stuff like that. Yeah, or like, uh, 
Um, oh, but know, for free, not bad. Yeah, like I know Smite, me, and like Smite, Smite is also. It, I mean, it's not small per se, and it's you know there's there has like it has a crowd, but it's nowhere near like League of Legends or yeah. Call of Duty Warzone. You know, Call of Duty Warzone is yeah. like you know you huge. Yeah. Um, so kind of like like those, I got like, you. Uh, yeah. So you're you're saying like because like Smite is free to play, but you can play. You can pay, but it's not pay to play more. It's more like pay for accessories to look better yeah, or whatever. Like, uh, but yeah, it's free I'm, to play. I'm not counting, While like, Destiny, Destiny, if you want to play more and get more content, you got to pay. Exactly. It's not like... Cause oh, I, okay. I, 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 yeah, because I'm not counting like cosmetics, uh, microtransactions. <laughs> yeah. Because exactly. if you want the, the nurse outfit for your character, and you go ahead, pay the $20, you know, whatever. It's not going to affect the gameplay. Um, but like, you know, in Destiny, if you didn't buy the newest expansion, you can get the newest weapons. Um you know, same thing for like uh, Warzone when they have the I think Cold War expansion or whatever. You know, you, you couldn't get the new maps, so you know stuff like that. Is, uh, you know, say so to me, I feel like I got too crazy, but at the same time, you got to support the developers. You gotta you know pay for the good quality games. Um, but you know, I but again, there's been a lot of backlash recently or, or over the past few years, really about you know gaming getting out of control with these loot boxes loot boxes was someone trying to make loot boxes illegal yeah i know and uh in the, uh, the uk in, or something yeah europe they're, <laughs> they're, they're like cracking down hard on it because they're considering it uh like gambling like so you can't yeah. sell gambling to little kids because that's who your you know your audience, audience is be. your target audience yeah true um uh, i guess for me it I don't mind the pay if the game is there. Because I would admit, like, Destiny was A1. It was fun. Only time Destiny got stale was when we ran out of content. So, like, once we got, like, the expansion, the new content, and the boys get back on, and you're doing the new raids and all that stuff, the fun is there again. It's a good time. You're, you're grinding. You're getting a light up. But... If I had to lay pay, let's see, an expansion came out, 15 bucks for the new part, and then we get that fun again, I don't mind it too much. Just, like, don't go too crazy, like you said, where it's like, oh, we got these three parts that we already have planned that we could have just put in the regular, but, you know, we'd rather not put it in the regular game and make you pay for each one, even though they're done. I'm like, get that shit out of here. And the people yeah. who put out unfinished games so that you know they're like hey we got this much they put it out and you play it and it's not that much content but then they have more coming but you got to pay for that i'd rather have just waited for them to finish to yeah. give me the whole experience yeah <clears throat> so are you finishing mm-hmm. okay i didn't want to you didn't want to but no he's not finished you're you interrupting you're man. Shut up. <laughs> Inter- interrupt me when you see fit <laughs> I'm not gonna interrupt you. Um, okay, so I agree. Um, I don't play that many games to say I do play a lot of phone <gasps> games though. So He's a I gotcha know player. the I was. I was uh, uh, uh. so it's okay, so for sure I what I don't like that people are starting to kind of go towards is like putting out unfinished games and then having you pay for the rest to finish that game. It's just like what's the fucking point like Mm -hmm. what's the point of putting out a game making me pay for it in the beginning when the shit ain't even done like i that makes me not want to go back it makes me not want to like your story is not compelling enough to make me want to pay for more to finish this fucking story and Mm -hmm. like that's that's just me other people might really like it you know but me personally i don't um i would rather like, if it's, like, phone games, I'd rather have the free-to-play and the choice of paying for more. Like, bro, these gotcha games are starting to go out of control, though. They're just like, oh, yeah, <laughs> they're free-to-play, you know, sure. I'm like, okay. The higher you level get you those go, you're starting to become less relevant. You're just like, bro, I'm not winning any of these battles. Yeah. <laughs> you go into arenas, everybody got the new character. You're like... He's like, they're all over here destroying you in one hit, and you're just like... I don't want to play this game anymore because I don't want to pay twenty dollars for a chance to pull this one uh, fucking champion. Oh <laughs> well, hell no! 
And, and and now that you mentioned that, Teresa, um, since you said you're a mobile gamer, um, I, I've I'm uh, been noticing. Well, you know, I, I I watch a lot of tech videos and stuff like that about like new stuff that comes out and all that crap. Uh, and one thing I did notice recently is there are a lot of uh, like brands coming out with gaming phones, like phones specifically yeah. made for gaming. Like they have like these touch sensors on the front here or on the on here mm-hmm. and like. Big like batteries. Razor phone. Yeah. So Razor made a phone. I was like, what? Razor making a phone? That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. They, they actually have a version two on it now. Um and uh uh was it uh what's the last one that made it? Um Asus. Asus came out with, with one. They're like under fifth fifth generation actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Teresa, how do you do you do you think mobile gaming will you know at one point start to compete like eat into like the home like the switch gaming but more, I, more more like the switch because i don't think it'll it'll compete with like xbox or playstation anytime mm-hmm. soon just because you know people buy those mostly for the the power and the graphics uh-huh. but i mean if you got a phone you can go to the app store or the google store you're uh-huh. like you know maybe i don't want to spend three hundred dollars on a switch and pay for every game when I could go to the app store and there's like a million different games I can try for free or for $2. Uh, and that's when I, you know, do you think, you know, at some point Nintendo is going to be like, all right, we got to do something. Cause uh, these mobile gamers on their phone are starting to eat into our portable handheld market. So it, um, that, qu- that question, I think depends. <laughs> <laughs> That question depends on what type of gamer you are. Like, for me, I'm more of a sit on the toilet for, like, five minutes and play kind of game. <laughs> so, there's no point in playing a super heavy story game on the toilet when it won't last that long. Oh, no. <laughs> Why you end up the toilet in it? I'm on my <laughs> That was it. I gotta beat this boss level real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, for, yeah, like, I... For me, that I won't personally. I will never. That will never replace the switch or anything. Yeah. For me. Just because it's like I don't have the attention span to spend that long on my phone. If I play a game, I'm gonna make it a dedicated time to like, you know, Locked with in, the console or the game, whatever. Lock in. Mm-hmm. Plus, I feel like uh, like mobile games are always there. It just feels like a complimentary game. Like, all right, I gotta go in this car ride. I can bust out. <laughs> Like Wild Rift out now, like it's just a compliment mm-hmm. to a league, but I don't ever think it'd be like I'm just gonna be strictly a Wild Rift player over a league player. <laughs> and yeah. plus games like Nintendo always gonna have that branding in the back of the of the the, yep. the 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 titles that they can drop. Like you're not getting that on no mobile. You're not getting on the phone. It may it will it phone does make it easy for people who can't get like they have to choose between affording their phone and getting like the luxury item of a console. It's like I can still get this phone and play games on it. So I'm fine. They they can enjoy it because the gaming phones are pretty cheap. Not all of them, but I know that Razer phone was like what like four hundred mm-hmm. at one point, and that's yeah, cheap for a phone. That. It's cheap for a quality phone that you can get, have phone service, and play games on it. That's not a bad deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I think um, I don't think I, I, it'll be a while before we get to that technology that uh, phones really do start making a big difference in the gaming industry. Um, I, I think it'll the 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 start we're trying to see is from the folding phones because now you're going to be able you know sooner or later you're going to be able to have like a phone the size of an iPhone. You open it up and you get like the size of a switch. A tablet. Yeah. Right. A tablet. Okay. So I think when those are become more, because right now those, those phones are super expensive. Like they cost like $2,000 and no one's trying to spend two Gs on the phone. Um, yeah. And they're still kind of like, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely more sophisticated and refined, but nowhere near enough where I think, you know, and the iPhone is and the Galaxy series is. So I think once flip phones, or oh my God, the flip phones, they're not flip phones, but. <laughs> you mean, those yeah, little... so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see a transformer phone that just flipped yeah. up to a whole screen. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you've been making like, you know, <laughs> like puzzles. Uh, so once those phones become oh. cheaper and more common, I think that's when, uh, you know, you'll, 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 you'll see some people be like, maybe a company say, hey, we're going to release a, a full-blown version of like Assassin's Creed on the iPhone because you can literally play on like a portable, you know, tablet now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, phones are so fast nowadays that the graphics can can be there, you know. So, I don't know. We'll see. I think give it a five, ten more years and we see those flip phones. Oh, I, not I the... do think the market for a phone game is going to keep increasing because they're getting these new chips there. You're getting stronger, powerful, clear sure. screens that is eventually going to be like, I can just gain from this. Yep. So, I agree. I think, well, I think it will get near there sometime at some point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Consoles are getting strong too. So I guess it all depends on how much time people spend at home. But yeah. well, that was my thing. So with that, right. um, uh, you know, I wanted to look at just uh, bring in some everyday to life stuff that I've been watching on YouTube while I eat lunch at work. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, what you got? What you got on the table? What you got? What is right. your question for the panel? You should be like, so who's your favorite Animal Crossing character and why? <laughs> You guys don't play enough. You guys are. You guys won't understand. We don't. Mine's <laughs> is the is that chick that bit the dust. I can't remember her name. Isabel. Because drink, Isabel, because she be drinking hard liquor in the middle of the day because you know her job. <laughs> <laughs> but she won't person. do nothing. Her day is not stressed. Like, <laughs> she had that like glass right there with the one ice cube in it. I'm like, what the? <laughs> she oh, yeah. getting lit. <laughs> and that boy Tom looks a crook, so it ain't him. You're the fucking charging me. No, he's a smart businessman. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. This man is a smart businessman. He makes you pay and you clean the island. Like, what? He He has a market. (laughs) And then the stuff you clean, you can go make, you can sell it to his son. But then you still gotta go pay their dad. They just get the money right back. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but once you're dead free, you're good. That's all. This cricket family. (laughs) My question is. What is one anime you regret watching? Like, you're just like, ah, this wasted mm. my fucking time. Or this traumatized me. Why the fuck did I watch this? You know, oh, something I along those lines. Yeah. Anime, did I regret it? Mm, you're just like... Mm. Ah, I don't know if I ever make it... Yeah, mm. I was going to tell Danny. The thing is, it's like... Uh, at some point, I would just be like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not watching this anymore. I'm like on the third episode or something. Actually, uh, I, I think I get it. I, because the reason why the regret that is, it wasn't like, all right, this is traumatizing or this was just super shitty because I don't think I watched any that were super shitty other than when, when you know, your brother had us watching Poopa. Why? You didn't like that? <laughs> no, you like that? It was better than some of the other ones I watched. It was, was like... weird. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? What? But I would say one that was disappointing was like, man, this just made the whole journey here tragic. It was fairy tale. Oh, yeah. Like, like fairy tale, it just. When you get to that ending, I guess I, I don't know if it's anime anime because I'm not sure where the anime is. But I was I watched some of the anime, but then I continue with the manga, and by the time you get to that ending, you're just like, "Why y'all do this to me? Y'all took me on this journey <laughs> for this, so y'all can have this happen to the big bad." <laughs> like, no, ain't, ain't no one get like. Well, it's been a long time. They ain't watch it. Oh, a spoiler's coming. Ain't no one get like killed. Like no one. It's just a bunch of power or friendship. Like how does one of the strongest villains get beat by someone whose muscles are com- whose bones were shattered? All of their bones were shattered, and she still won. And I was like, how? How? And not to one shot. I was like, this. this. <laughs> All that for this. All of that for this. So one piece is in the slide for now. 
I thought you were about it's to like go a, on a rant about One Piece. I was like, damn. Yeah, well, not One Piece, not One Piece, but Fairy Tales in the slot for now. There we go. Because I don't know, I don't know uh, that many disappointing that I thought that I watched. So I'll put that there for now. What do you guys, one of you can. All right, you? Christian, your turn. Your turn. I'm trying to. It's hard, right? It's hard, yeah, because you said you, it, if. If I got the only reason I would say it would be disappointing is if like it was like then said it was getting good and then it just like bombed and you're like, well shit I should have just mm-hmm. never watched this because, but hmm. I heard that's kind of what happened with Gangsta, but I never finished it myself in those. I did not finish Gangsta. Either. That I read it, I caught up to it, but then they stopped the scanlation, so I don't read it anymore. It was good though. Okay. I didn't watch the anime, so I can't tell. You want some more time, Christian? Yeah, yeah. Come back to me while okay. I... Okay. Uh... So, I have two that I could two. think of, because that's, that's a lot of years to sift through of anime and being disappointed and stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. a lot of anime. Yeah, it's, it's harder, because I, I thought of the question a couple of days ago, and I was like thinking, I was like, I know there's an anime that pissed me off so hard that I was just like, I can't watch this shit anymore. But I don't remember it. So there's two for sure that I do remember. One that Danny already covered is fairy tale. I didn't watch it. I read it. I was just like, bro, Danny can tell you I was spamming that thing on our trip to Japan. I was just like, man, this shit's so good. Oh my God, I caught up, you guys. And then (laughs) I finally got to the end and I was like, oh shit, how are they going to do it? I was like, spoiler, uh, Erza find her mom and then something happens and then she just goes away and I'm like all right that's that's fine I guess you know power of mother okay whatever power, power of friendship and mother <laughs> power of love. motherly love I guess I guess okay I guess and then, like Zareph at the end he becomes something fucking I don't even know how they want to be that I was just like he is he, you can't beat him how are you gonna finagle something to beat him and then all of a sudden Danny, what happened? I blocked it out of my memory. Something <laughs> stupid happened. Oh, you want me to go in on this? I got you. So, this boy, Zareph was giving them the work already in normal form. Where are you at? Then he got the power he was seeking and became final form Zareph or whatever you want to call it. Then right, right, beyond right. whatever. You can't beat him. And then not to one shot. I forgot how he got, he got some kind of special flame power. I want to say it was from the first, but I don't remember. He got some kind of extra power, and then he one-shot Zero, who just powered up. And I was like, what in the actual, huh? <laughs> and and Zero ended up just going off with the first. I think they just went and died somewhere because they had that old school love or whatever. And I was oh, like, man, bullshit. Shit. It was like, stupid. He did and- all this for that? <laughs> And then, uh, and then, last that but was, not least, uh, you were some memories. <laughs> Agno fucking Logan, the most indestructible dragon in the world. You're just like, all right, this guy would be an epic fight. Nah, they just sent him to another dimension or some shit, and that's it. He's done. Not to one like, shot him as well. That's who one shot at him too, with the power of all the dragons and friendship. Give me your power for this fight. Like what though? First and everybody all, goes back we, to normal. Exactly. I wanted to see, or we were expecting to see Agnolia, who was coming there to fight Zara. Mm-hmm. I, that was the fight I wanted to see. And we wanted to see him fight in human form, because his human form looked dope when he went into it that one time. It was just like, oh, snap, he can do that? He looked dope. So I was like, dang, we get to see him versus Zara. And like, not so now, it's going to be crazy. But instead, they both pretty much get one shot in. It's just like, man. Bro, the, the build-up lasted way longer than the actual battle, and you're just like, my face like dropped even, so hard. I was just like, like even all the villains that they had, there were these extra OPs. What were they, Spirigan Twelve or whatever? We're all just getting handed it in battle. I don't think any of them want to fight. They were like these big bads from across seas that when they come in, they bring an all hell with them, and then they came and just a fairy tale guild, pretty much. We're just like. 
and they just beat the hell out of like, what? Man, honestly, like, branching off of the ending of Fairytale, which is bullshit, by the way, what I don't like was that, I guess, I don't know if I can blame the creator or whatever, but the Fairytale Guild might as well just be called the Fairytale Trio, because that's who <laughs> was all putting all the work. Everybody else, fucking useless. Like, even, like, um, the three dragons or whatever that they're building, I was like, oh, yeah, that's Moxie. She's super, super dope. Whack. Here is like, Mira. Like, you know, she's also I know. Badass. It's like, when they Whack. were there, though, like, like Mira Jane, the demon chick, she was so dope when she was there, but they never let her do anything. <laughs> they only bring her out yeah, for like, a special moment. Like, Mira Jane was there, she was dope. When Laxis was there, she was dope. But then they, like, keep them in the background. And then you had Guild Arts, who just got sent somewhere so he like your strongest area their strongest members were never there like guild arts sent somewhere uh what's his name I forgot his name who was one of the chick dad who was extra op he's like one of the strongest in the guild he oh. was only there for like two fights and it's just like the world is about to end and the rest of the guild fucking useless they can't even do shit they got their guild jump while the three of them Got sent away to some demon. It was just like, yeah, fairy tales came no back. more. We the guilds are still like, what the fuck? Fucking <laughs> useless. What was going on? What were y'all doing? <laughs> no, I agree shit. with that one. You, I can uh, just feel, you, you can just feel this disappointment, Rich. And I agree with you. Completely. No, I remember that. Like, uh, I, no wonder I was like, wait, what happened in the end of fairy tale? I know I read it, but I was like, and then when you guys like, Oh, that's why I don't remember because it wasn't, it was some bullshit. Walk <laughs> mm-hmm. out of your fucking memory because it was whack. I was like, it was my, you don't need to remember it. It was trash. Exactly. Terrible. Overall, the right. journey was fun. Reading it was the fun. Journey was oh, fun. Yeah. The journey was yeah. fun. The journey was fun. Hold on, Christian. I got one more. One more. Uh, then I'll let okay. you go. Okay. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay. The second one is school days. Watching the first three episodes <laughs> pissed me off so bad. I was just like, oh, why do you do this to yourself? Girl, just break up with her. She's like, what but I love you. Talking about Teresa, that's I'll a classic. Go ahead and cheat on me. And I'm just like, and he was just like, damn, I got a girlfriend though. But I, I like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm. I mean, I'm glad I never watched School Days. I just saw it was funny. Yeah, you know, <laughs> oh they my. just show up at his house. Like we heard this about you. Let us try. I'm just like what. Girl, just show us not to smash. <laughs> that, that, that was one of the like yeah, the most like. I, watch it. I mean, the anime was already fucking like, like stupid, but that like, that part right there was just like, wait, what? You we went to a thought school. That they were just showing up. Like I heard, I'm like, I where is this rumors. school, man? Where is this school? <laughs> I heard these rumors, so uh, let's go give it a try. You know. <laughs> Oh, I never was, well, watched or, I watch or gave that a legit attempt to watch. That's why it's yeah. not on my list. I cannot. Okay. Um, okay, go on. I actually finished. remember now. There's this one anime that um, the when, when, when I was starting to watch it, okay, so I started watching it and then I started reading some reviews like halfway through and they were like, this is some shit anime. Why is anyone even watching this? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? This anime is really good. Well, it's not, you know, it's like, it's not bad. It's, it's good. I, I like watching. And then I got to the to the second part. It's called Guilty Crown. They fucking destroyed all the character development they, ever, they did through the whole first part of the anime. Like, the first season was pretty good. It's about this kid who is uh, going through some shit and uh you can um he gets this power where you can he can pull out um each each person's soul has a weapon in their soul you know depending on on what they their their soul is made of and Mm -hmm. so he's able to pull the weapon out and let and let the, the the people use them like one of the one of the powers one of the one of the weapons is this girl that's uh in a wheelchair her her um her weapon is 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 leg armor that can make her move again um but you know it's it's the the story is pretty good like okay you know and then uh the the good guy rebellion leader that he joins that looks up to him like a like you know his older brother type thing anyways it's a good story and then the second and at the end he sacrifices himself for the the for the girl right the 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 leader and so that and then the second story 
it's so fucking dumb. I don't, I, I don't remember much how it happened, but the leader comes back who's not dead after all. He's been taken over by some fucking evil power. He takes the girl and has her in a, in a, in a, in a bridal dress, like chained up like the whole anime of the second season. And it's, it's, it's so horribly bad. The guy goes on like this dumb rampage of like, I'm going to take it all on my own. He, he goes full blown uh, Sasuke on them, but doesn't get his redemption at all. It, and he doesn't have a Naruto that goes after him, really. Anyway, that was the shittiest second part of an anime I've ever seen. That just like, uh, it just killed the first season. The that was like, I know that yeah, feeling. Like, I know it. Like, like, the first season by itself was fine. You can watch that if you ever want to watch it. You can watch the first season and just imagine it. It ends there. Don't don't go to the second season. <laughs> oh, guilty Crown. <laughs> yeah, Guilty Crown. Because yeah, the watch second season one. Just watch season one. That's season it. one is fine. It's it's not a 10-10 anime. It's like a good, you got nothing else to watch. You want to watch a, a quick season of something kind of interesting, go ahead, watch it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's cool. Okay. It has a cool, cool story and plot. But second season, Jesus Christ. I was like, <laughs> they just destroyed all the characters. They had like this tough girl that was like super smart and then she just goes off. They basically make a love triangle between two girls that had nothing to do with any type of love interest in the guy in the first season. And... Uh, yeah. I, know that I can see the shit. I know that <laughs> Exactly. Me. You're just like, why'd you, you make me remember this? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That. That's cool. like, I don't think I might. And I'm like, wait, now I... Yes, that, that anime was so bad. The second season, it just killed it. And yeah, once I went back to the comments, I was like, you guys were right along. I should have just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, get, get, guilty crown was dumb. Um, oh my god, uh, I don't want anyone yeah, to it, it was just so so disappointed. I wish I would never watched it. I should. I would have. My life would have been better if I never watched it to begin with. Yeah, bro, that second part reminds me of how they completely butchered my girl Asuna from Sword Art. Uh, I never say. Totally uh, taken uh, over. I just want to say I had two more, did not go too deep into, but Sword Art okay. Season 2 compared to 1. 1 was so just, the the stakes were so high, it was so edgy, exactly. and Season 2 is just like, uh, why'd y'all shit. nerf Luna? Like, we not Luna Asuna, like, why'd y'all nerf her like that? She was like, but you made it completely she useless. Was a, she was the second best person in the tower. Yes. <laughs> Ichigo, not Ichigo, whoa, Kirito. <laughs> Second best <laughs> to you, and then she, she went from that to like a damsel. But I heard she gets redemption in the recent art, in the recent sword art, that she actually does something. She shouldn't need a redemption. She should have kicked that guy's ass in the second season where it belonged. But whatever. Yeah, whatever. that one and my last one is uh, <clears throat> Tokyo Ghoul art re com- re compared to Tokyo Ghoul. Like Tokyo Ghoul One was a dope setup, one of the best intro songs there is, and like cool story. Tokyo Ghoul is all over the place. Everybody wearing the mask and all that stuff. But then the second season, what I disliked about it, because I read it, I just hate those type of villains who are just like, "Oh, I was expecting that. That's why I planned this." And then you you counter that, and I was like, "I was expecting that too." <laughs> They behave just like I wanted. I wanted them to count out for those things I had set up for them. I'm just like, shut. I hate <laughs> <laughs> These are the worst. You just keep writing. Every time I get caught, it was like, I planned for this moment specifically. Like, you plan for your first plan to fail, and that's to do this, and then that plan to fail. So we do this. So we get in this situation. So you can do, get these villains out of here. I'm like, just kill them off really quickly. I hate it. <sighs> I get it. Is it that hard to write a good villain? Apparently. Also, I want to add another one. It's not an anime specifically, but I regret watching this my entire life. Oh my god! Dragon Ball Z Evolution. That's bullshit. I was just like, we don't talk about that here. Okay, that's that was okay. never made. That was never. <laughs> made. I've never heard about that movie, but <laughs> apparent, but or, or or apparently it's quote unquote a screenplay with people in it that. 
has dragon and ball and uh, that was, Aoi, that it does not exist. <laughs> a Mitsubishi car included in there somewhere. Um, but no, that uh, a Mitsubishi car in there. They had Goku in school. Just that, just that, just that sentence alone. New York. But just that sentence alone. Master Roshi in the middle of a crater. Goku's like the dumbest dude in the universe. He just can fight. <laughs> Why is he in school? Dude. We don't talk about that shit. Bro, <laughs> Would you guys remember when he powered up and his hair just like spiked up? And I'm just like, <laughs> Bro, I was. Idea. I was so excited for that too. I was like, yes, they're going to make a live action oh. movie of Dragon Ball. This is going to be awesome. And then I watched it and I was like, <laughs> Didn't they have Piccolo like. Was it Piccolo like a black guy or something like that? <laughs> he was I, an alien, but he just looked like a black dude that was green. I was just like, <laughs> If I remember correctly, I pirated that movie to watch it. Out of here. Oh and my god. I legit thought I downloaded like a fake movie. <laughs> you were like, I was like the real one. Yeah, I'm like, I'm being trolled, aren't I? This is not it. This is like some fan made shit that someone put as the real movie. And then I went and downloaded another file and I was like, wow, that was actually the movie. That was actually you the real downloaded one. Downloaded the porn version, Christian. Is that like, way? Oh, like, oh he was like, "Whoa, I ain't no." Girl. I was like, first of all, <laughs> <She did that. laughs> it wasted Whoa. so much. It wasted so much of my time because, first of all, I had to wait like three um, hours for it to download, and then I, and then what, like, an hour and a half, whatever it was, to watch it, and then I downloaded it again another three hours to find out it was the same oh, bullshit, gosh. and I was just like, uh, "I can imagine your no, younger version just like it's the real one." So Piccolo just looked like an alien. I was just that so sad. ugly, bro. Piccolo was <laughs> hella ugly. Good. I don't like me. Uh, uh, mm. And they had, they, had, they even had Jamie Chung up in there. Why, why y'all do that to Jamie Chung? Exactly. Why y'all? Why did she even join that? She would probably. She got probably got like bamboozled or something. Like she was like, yeah, this sounds cool. Oh, I joined. Good, good job, right? Nah. Nah. Oh wait, never mind. He does look like an alien. I thought yeah, I don't know like why alien. I remember that was a black guy in a spaceship. I was just like, why did they do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you do that to us, Teresa? Teresa, yeah, some things are worth. Some things are just worth forgetting, and that was one of them. I, was like, I got in a rage, and I remember things. <laughs> that was. Uh, are we gonna move on from that? that okay, <laughs> yeah, let's move. On. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon Ball Evolution. Is so bad. that's that's I said that's just something you just don't 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 I'm acknowledge at all in your morning. Like, <laughs> right. uh, you just all right, Danny. Your turn. Your questions. And the last one. So I'll be on Twitter. You know we be in these Twitter verses mm-hmm. out here. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of cool stuff that goes viral on Twitter. You know, Twitter is a place where everybody got an opinion and all yada 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 some people opinions are bad like a lot of people's mm-hmm. opinions are bad like i've seen this thing it has a, a few franchises right i'm gonna share it mm-hmm. and it's like three of these you lose three of these franchises forever right mm-hmm. i'm gonna share it now so Three franchises you lose. That means everything they've done from movies to games to, I guess, toys if you got the toys, soundtracks, all of them. Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Fast and the Furious, Back to the Future, 007, Star Trek, Indiana Jones, and Avatar. And you lose anything they've done and any future thing they're going to do. So take a moment to look over it. I want to know which three of y'all choosing. I've seen quite a few people pick Marvel, and I'm like, y'all are just being those hipster asses who are like, I'm tired of, I'm like, tired okay, of Mister, it's like, I'm right. gonna be edgy and shit. Yeah, those people that okay, you Mister, I'm tired of hero films. Get rid of Marvel, DC. It's like, bro, you know those the groundwork that those comics laid. If we're talking about pause mm-hmm. projects, like, you trying to get rid of Superman and Batman? No, you ain't. 
Right. So I, this is actually pretty easy for me, believe it or not. Um, pretty much same for me. Yeah. yeah so first, though. I'll round it up. Okay. Let me take out Star Trek. Um, let me take out Indiana Jones. And let me take out. Actually, the third one is a bit of a toss up between two. My, 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 right now, I'm tossing up Fast and Furious and 007. Um, what? I'm going to go with the Fast and Furious movies. Just. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. But the 007 movies are spy movies, they're always action movies, unlike Fast and Furious, it turned from. Street racing Car to movies, uh, yeah. yeah to action. turn into fucking yeah action international criminal mastermind team and the newest one Ish. space yeah yes. you got uh, all these franchises in one franchise <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, uh, <laughs> they got some time travel they gonna have dinosaurs they are gonna have everything nah what I just job? well I mean that's Call just. I say like it's I say that's why it's, it's a toss up. Like you could as as easy as I could say 007 is I could say you know take out 007 and give me Fast and Furious. So it's like either or. I feel you. I, feel you. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be stressed over it. But yeah, Star Trek and Indiana Jones are the two easy for me. I, you know, I I wouldn't miss them. Uh, I, I mean, I would miss them, but not like oh no, I can never watch. Yeah, but uh, I feel you. Yeah, but. <laughs> And oh, and actually, that the Avatar that is for the series, right? Not for the movie. No, that's the no, logo for the, the Avatar movie. movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the blue people one. The blue people. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Never mind then. Oh, I thought it was the Avatar series. Yeah, no, give me that's what I was no, 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 no. get oh, those blue oh, people yeah. out of here. <laughs> never mind. Then. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Avatar, Indiana Jones, Star Trek. Easy. <clears throat> Those three, the the, the last three. out of here. It take twenty years to get a sequel. I don't want to wait twenty <laughs> years for a sequel. Yeah. Get that shit out of here. Give me, get those last three out of here. Indiana Jones, Avatar, Star Trek. See you later. I'm out. I'm gonna go watch Scar Cars in Space. That's a solid. That's a solid choice. You you want right, to go watch right. three too? Yeah, I'll go. So for me, it's also. <laughs> A little bit easier. Of course, Avatar given, I didn't really care about the first movie. It was cool. It was pretty dope. But after that, I wasn't dying to watch more of it. Um, 007 for sure. I never watched 007. So it wouldn't change a thing if I, you know, erase it from my life. Because, like, I never watched it in the first place. So, eh. It wasn't one of those things that jumped out to me. So that's that's my... And then last but not least, I tried. I don't think I can get into it. Lord of the Rings. I got to cut that out. So, uh, all those right. are my so, three. So, for next week's episode, so you're we you're are going to be... <laughs> Just say you're in culture, Teresa. That's all you got to say. You no, 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 no. no. Danny, Danny, Danny. First of Danny. all, how dare y'all? Danny, <laughs> Teresa <laughs> is entitled to her own opinion, even if she's wrong. Uh, oh, no, you're right. <laughs> It just did come from Twitter. Jones, get out of here. There's a whole bunch of Twitter people like Teresa out there. <laughs> what? All, 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 all I will say is uh, send in your uh, applications to be a third host. <laughs> um, so, you know, we can review them over the week. <laughs> get um, rid of Laura. You can start. <laughs> we are in dire need of a new host to, for this yeah. TriCast. Okay. Uh, Lord 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 Lord. I see you in person. That's untouchable. All right, I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break this <laughs> list down for you. I break this list down for you, row by row. So if you're going to top row. That top row is just untouchable. Star Wars is just it's Star Wars. It's classic. Even with the recent trilogy that people didn't like, we got Mandalorian out of it, and people love it. And all the the, like the animated shows, the spinoffs, the games for Star Wars, dope. Yep. Same with Marvel. And DC comic books play a big role in a lot of stuff. They do political stuff. They do just like getting everyone involved. Everyone had a different hero they can look up to in each series. Classic. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Dope. 
from the book that it was made to the dope trilogy to the new trilogy, everything's good. So it's around. It's dinosaurs. Yeah. Untouchable. Ooh, dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs. Row two. So it's untouchable as well. What? Kind of. You ain't t- one. You ain't touching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is some great. Lord like, of the Rings is just, long. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. It's some great adventures. Is the just you out there with the pals on your like Dungeons and Dragons like Middle Earth adventure to save the world. They can do Twice. that in Indiana Jones. Twice. People don't even like the fourth Indiana Jones. So I'm not even going to talk about that one yet. <clears throat> Fast is, if anything touched was probably Fast and the Furious. Back to the Future is dang near perfect. And I think Back to the Future is what got us Rick and Morty. So I'm not touching it. That's true. Yeah. I don't care too much for Harry Potter. I think Harry Potter is cool. I never got I, to read the books. But I can appreciate Harry Potter for what it is. I really like the Harry Potter world. Like that, it, like the world of the Harry Potter like books and movies is really dope. So I, I wouldn't take Harry Potter off. I really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything yeah, for me is coming off this last and fourth row. This last and fourth row. The best thing about 007 was this Nintendo 64 game, Goldeneye. Hmm. That's it. All the movies they got too many damn movies. How old is this dude? He <laughs> needs to pass the reins down to the next 007. Get that out of here. Star Trek to me was always just, I didn't get into it with a series like the old people. So it was always just second to Star Wars to me. So I'd rather just have a Star Wars as my space adventure than Star Trek. That's out of here. I'm keeping Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones got us the Uncharted. It's just something about the, the, the puzzle solving adventure that was dope I recently. It's not in here, but I got the like the trilogy that has not trilogy the four movie pack that has all four of the movies, and I went on like watched them one by one by one, and the only one I fell asleep on is the fourth one, unfortunately, and that's the one that got the worst reviews. But Indiana Jones is a dope adventure. Mm-hmm. It gives that great Uncharted we got wrote off for that. We probably got um not just Uncharted, we probably got uh Lara Croft from there, like all those little adventure games that we be playing where you're like in the cave solving puzzles looking for a treasure. Indiana Jones is their dad. Can't get rid of Indiana Jones. But Avatar, get out of here. You had one movie. <laughs> Your game wasn't dope. Oh I mean, yeah, they had a game. Had a game. It wasn't dope. Yeah. I'm pretty I think I, I think they Avatar did. Game. But it was the fact that no one remembers it says that. But Danny, Danny, Danny. <laughs> Real quick, yeah, going back, Avatar the game. Get that shit out yeah, yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. Going back to Indiana Jones, though, um, uh, similar question: Would you take Indiana Jones or would you take the Mummy series or the Mummy franchise? I guess. Hmm. I think I would go with. Like we just talking about the movie. We just talking about the movies. Uh Franchise. yeah, let's go with the movies. Just go with the movies. Yeah, just with the movies. I'm going to take Indiana Jones. I love the first two Mummy movies with Brandon Fraser. Man, was just killing it out here. That third one was a little bit, you know. Sus. That's when it's like, all right, <laughs> that's a new one, push. right? Now the third one was the one with um with uh Jet Li with oh, the uh, okay. Wall of oh, China. I remember that. Yeah, that one when I was like, all right, y'all may have pushed it one movie too far. Those first two was was good, perfect. And then they had like after those first two, that third one went too far. That fourth one when they tried to restart the series did too much. I love the design of the mummy in the fourth one, but they didn't do enough with him. So that was trash. And you had you had the rock movie spin off when he was a scorpion king. And that was trash. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> so I'm going with, I enjoy those. I'm going with Indiana Jones because the best part of the Mummy series was Indiana Jones S when there was like oh, yeah, off the, on this the, adventure to try to figure stuff out to save everything. So it was kinda in the ring of an Indiana Jones adventure. So I'm gonna have to go Indiana Jones. I respect it, yeah. I I think I would take the mummy, but I think I, I it would just come down to preference. I think some people, would, mm-hmm. you know, go to Indiana. Some people would take the mummy. Um, Who are you taking, Teresa? Have you I watched like Indiana Zone, Trinity? 
I have. I have. I watched some of it. Of it. Some of the movies. Some of a movie? <laughs> some of a movie? She ain't watched that. Movie. I don't remember. <laughs> They're pretty old. Like, if, yeah. when if I watched them, like, if one I had to watch now, it would probably be The Mummy. If I had to watch one now, because. Okay. The movie, the Mini and Jones series, pretty old. Okay, because I say it was like I enjoy it. I I remember watching some of Indiana Jones and then The Mummy, and I had more fun watching The Mummy, so I think I'll take that one. Mm-hmm. Just because it's like I don't know, I thought it was pretty fun. You know, the Scorpion King just comes out and you're like on the walls and like I don't know, I thought it was dope. Kind of stupid, but whatever. <laughs> All right, well. Would you take? I mean, well, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, with these long ass movies right there in that row too. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. Teresa's taking Harry Potter, but would you take Harry Potter or The Rings, The Lord of the Rings, as a, I guess mm. movies. The, 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 I mean, the technically, games. I wouldn't pick either. What? I don't want to sit you... through any of those. Teresa, no, you I hate lied. It. I didn't. Okay, honestly. That's not but fair because I did not give Lord of the Rings who, a proper cho- uh, chance. So okay. I want to put that out there. Because you can give Harry Potter a proper chance every Christmas. They just, they just put that junk on TV and let it play all the series. I'm like, damn, bro. Is y'all still on? <laughs> you end up watching I, the same movie three times. I think that's tough. Because <clears throat> I actually like I didn't care for Harry Potter, but I liked the world and stuff. Like, I liked later Harry Potter when it got serious and I liked uh, 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 Fantastic Beasts the first one a little more when it's like hey we not just in school we out here exploring so that's my favorite part about the rings you see them exploring and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and Legolas because he's that dude he that dude uh, yeah, I would take Harry Potter actually Harry Potter oh, Lord of the Harry Potter uh, just because it's not a better series, okay? I know the Lord of the Rings is the better series in t- over Harry Potter, but to me, Harry Potter is much more consumable. Uh, if I get, that makes sense, that yeah, it makes sense <laughs> that I can pick it up and watch it, and I can enjoy it um, much more easily than Lord of the Rings. Uh, Lord of the Rings feels like it's a event type thing where, like, I got a plan to watch it. Where Harry Potter isn't, I could look at yeah. you know it could be Christmas yeah, and I'm like, that. you know, I turn on the Life Channel or whatever it is, or Fox or whatever, and they're playing you know uh, the the Prisoner of Azkaban, and yeah. I can watch it and it'll be fun. Um, so I and, think like with Harry Potter, you can just watch one movie and be like, oh, that was good. But with Lord of the Rings, you're like, I gotta watch. It's part. It's three movies that's part of one adventure. So right. I, I gotta yeah. see the whole thing. And and like I said, I, I I never read the Lord of the Ring books. I did read the Harry Potter books, so um, you know I I do know that it, you know some of the stuff that it could have the you know they took out to make a PG or a PG thirteen um, or just some just better writing. But yeah. overall, I, uh, you know I said I, I I know Lord of the Rings is the better series, but Harry Potter is more enjoyable for. I guess every day, every every day con- consuming. Books are always better, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, say yeah. it was like for the Harry Potter series. I actually did sit down and like watch it in sequence, all of it. Like binged it for like three or four days straight. I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> long. It was long. It was long. The fifth one pissed me off the most. Everything else was like you know it was fun whatever i finally got to see the story and you're just like oh, okay that makes sense that's why they did that 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 i don't know what the fuck they did to the fifth one i don't know why they made them all angsty and shit like that but they could have erased that that's the one where uh what's his name cedric died uh, in the game oh, the, yeah the, the goblet, goblet of fire one fire. yeah i didn't <laughs> like that one i was just like mm. but i need i should give lord of the rings a chance like just make it a binge watch <laughs> kind of thing it's a good nine hours. Mm-hmm. Nine hours? Yeah, that, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Three hours? Yes, yeah, so that's and, why I said Harry Potter. <laughs> then The Hobbit is three hours as well. 
Yeah. By itself. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. The Hobbit is another three hour each series. You you would need twelve hours three to movies. watch them. Yeah. Like when I did it, I did one a day. I was like, all right, cool. Then cool. Then cool. Dang, that was yeah, good. I'm gonna do that. One a day. That sounds doable. <clears throat> it's like watching Justice League nonstop. Oh long. <laughs> yeah, that was long. <laughs> Shit is long. Right. How about this though? Before we get out of here. Three that you can keep. Only three you can keep. The rest gotta go. Yeah, that yeah. one's a little tougher. Only three you can keep. I got you, boys. This is easy for me. This is easy. All right, all right. <clears throat> three that I can keep. I'm gonna go with uh, Marvel, obvious choice. Uh, then I'm gonna go with Star Wars. Just because their recent content and spinoff, and like Danny said, just because they're all around spinoff and series and shit just propelled it to like a top, top, top tier again. And, and, I, their, and their games are fire too. Yeah. And I will take Back to the Future over mm. everything else. You say, but, mm. but, but, but you're like, but why? There's Harry, you know, you just Harry Potter under the rings, dress apart. Yeah. But like Danny said, Back to the Future feels perfect. It just feels com- so complete that you watch it, you're like, this is... One time, every time. Yeah, yeah. This is a, a fun, a, you know, series, to, and they didn't overdo it. You know, they didn't uh, milk it. They're pushing it with the third, but they... Yeah, they, yeah, they, uh, they, yeah, they, they definitely were. Still. They fixed yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, landed, so, but, but they were but, pushing it with the third. Yeah, but overall, it's... I gotta take Back to the Future just because I think that's one of the close to perfect series. Um, so yeah, that's my three because Marvel gives me enough comic book and superpower stuff that I don't need DC. Um, Star Wars, you get the exploration, space, uh, Jedi, and then you, you get the series with the good animation and you get the real life with like the Mandalorian and that's all I need. Okay. Yeah, solid. Those solid choices. All right. What about you, Teresa? Okay. So for sure, um, Star Wars. I recently became a newer fan just because, like, the most recent trilogy was interesting enough to where I was just like, "Oh, this world's kind of dope," you know, all the lightsabers and stuff like that. So I was like, "Okay, I can get down behind this." Mm-hmm. The next one is Jurassic Park. I like my dinosaurs. I love and I like too. the Jurassic. Jurassic Park was so fun to watch. I can watch it, it over and over and I'll be fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the last one is No to Avatar. I didn't really watch Indiana Jones like that. Star Trek, I never gave a chance. 007, not a Harry Potter. I'm done with that. Lord of the Rings, still didn't give a chance. Fast and the Furious, like, kind of lost me halfway. Back to the Future. People. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I don't know what the story is about anymore, honestly. No. <laughs> what is the story? So you um, street that. But yeah, the government needs you, and just like. But yeah, but I'm, I can say the world though. It's only me, not the train dudes for this, but me street. Yeah, exactly. and then you see <laughs> fucking the Rock holding like a helicopter machine gun, just like, and I'm just like. What? What? <laughs> what? Anyway, not really Fast and the Furious. Back to the Future was fun to watch. And it's between, again, it is between Marvel and Back to the Future. DC, they need to come out with more before they can be a good running. Because I don't really, well, I didn't really watch the animated either. So, but going off DC of what I have watched. DC animated wise, though. No. DC animated oof. is DC animated is yeah. oof. Yeah. That's where they thrive. Yeah. But it's too heavy for me. I don't want to watch heavy shit all the time. I don't want to be depressed. Yeah, I, I feel every you. Time I, understand. I, watch. I understand. <laughs> so I think I'll go with Marvel just because it's like the lineup, everything is not depressing. It's fun to watch. You know, you get your superpowers and stuff like that. So I'll probably go with that. Back to the Future is a very close second, though. It's like I touching each other. Good. It's like butt to butt. 
Mm, so. They're butt buddies. <laughs> they're butt to butt. All right. I so for myself to end this off, <clears throat> we're all on the same page with Star Wars. Like Star Wars, even having the casuals, like I consider myself a casual Star Wars fan. Yep. And just been like mm-hmm. the whole yep. Star Wars universe is just dope because I like lore. I, I really like lore, and like when you when you start talking to people about the Star Wars, like getting into like researching like the lore and the deep stuff, it's just like really dope world. Like so, you want to see more and now we're getting all those spinoffs i want them i want all of this so i'm I'm with you guys with the star wars and then i'm with you guys with the marvel for me i like marvel and dc so i was picking based off heroes dc has like if i'm ranking my favorite heroes dc has my top with batman like it has batman but then i could trade batman for spider-man and wolverine Mm -hmm. And Iron Man, like I can trade him for for that list because DC, I like the Lanterns, I like Batman, Superman's a little too perfect, and they have some cool people in there like uh the, like like Dark Fate, Blue Beetle, all that. But I can trade them for Marvel because Marvel has a lot of really dope heroes, and plus they have Spider Man who's at the top, who has some of the best stories, and Wolverine who goes through a whole lot. Like so, I pick Marvel over DC for that. The third is a tough one. I'm going. I think I'm going to go to the rings. I'm going to go to the rings because, a, I just love the adventure of it. Like I love doing like the whole Dungeon Dragon, the Middle Earth show. Like it's just really cool. That's one of the shows that got me into like, man, I really want to go play D and D now and. And like I just love the adventure of it all. One of my favorite genres is adventure. One of the things I want to write is an adventure. Like I love adventures and Lord of the Rings is like an adventure. And it was dope. And then the Hobbit followed up. And I was like, they did it again. They did this twice. <laughs> and then the games, the old games back on PlayStation, where it was pretty much like a hack and slash, where you just get Legolos and shoot people up with arrows. Me and my brother used to grind through there and I loved it. So those are my three right there. Jurassic Park and Back to the Future are like right there too. So those two series are like, if I had to watch something today from there, it would probably be mm-hmm. like one of those. Probably. Unless it's a Marvel movie. But probably, I don't mind watching old Jurassic Park. I watched it over nothing, but it was just good time still. Good so. times. So that was a fun probably quicker version of the anime club podcast thank you guys again for you know spending a little time with us joining us with us like stumbling my words like teresa on these anime podcast streets i kind of like the shorter version we going we more precise into our little points with our three topics mm. we plan to have a guest soon not exactly how soon but you know look out for it but right and look out you. for our, our newest member of the tricast because we are firing teresa after this episode <laughs> uh, so if you ask why next week might be only a dual cast between me and danny don't ask the prize you know, I know she just this is a place for cultured people and she Yay! obviously ain't <laughs> what? She is obviously an uncultured swine how uh, dare y'all first of all we're gonna put her through the cultural program and she'll be back afterwards <laughs> she's gonna take a six week break to <laughs> while she goes uh, that, to culture that would be how long it takes her to watch these movies <laughs> it's like two oh weeks like nope <laughs> I seen part of the first one like yup that's Teresa <laughs> But right. thank you guys. Once again, I'm Denny. Also, King Danimals. And again, it's your boy Paco, aka Viva La Paco. And Teresa, aka Risa Kip. Bye, guys. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Don't